The United States has announced it will provide an additional 90 million U.S. dollars over the next three years to help Laos clear unexploded cluster bombs. Laos was heavily bombed during the Vietnam War with American warplanes dropping bombs that killed and injured as many as 20,000 people. But a third of those weapons did not explode and remain dangerous to civilians. President Obama said America had a moral obligation to help. Let's speak now to Brett Dakin. The United States dropped more than 2 million tons of bombs here in Laos. More than we dropped on Germany and Japan combined during all of World War II. It made Laos per person the most heavily bombed country in history. As one Laotian said, the bombs fell like rain. And that conflict was another reminder that whatever the cause, whatever our intentions, war inflicts a terrible toll, especially on innocent men, women, children. And let's speak now with Brett Bacon, who is Emeritus Chair of the Charity Legacies of War, which campaigns for the clearance of unexploded bombs in Laos. And he joins us now live from New York. Brett, great to have you with us on Newsday. So how important is this funding commitment from America? Great to be with you, and hello from New York City. This is really an historic moment for the people of Laos and the U.S. government. This is the largest commitment of U.S. funding for the removal of unexploded bombs from Laos in history. It's $90 million, $30 million each year over three years. And at Legacies of War, we believe that this infusion of cash and commitment is just what we need to finally bring this deadly legacy of the Vietnam War to an end. But Brett, why has it taken so long for the United States to provide uh, substantial uh, monetary assistance to Laos? It's a great question. You know, one of the trickiest things about this issue is that the U.S. bombing of Laos was secret to begin with and went on for almost a decade without any authorization from Congress. And most of the American people had no idea it was going on. And even today, most Americans are not aware of the history. So it took a long time for the U.S. government to even acknowledge this history let alone to deal with it. But after really 10 years of concerted activism and support from people in the civil society mm -hmm. in the United States and Laos, uh, it really is now the moment for the president to take responsibility, which he has done, and make a big commitment to bringing this problem to an end. So, Brett, in your view, is $90 million then sufficient? Is it enough? And how much, on average, does it take to clear a single bomb or a landmine? Well, it's, uh, it's a great question, and it's hard to answer. And one of the things we lack are good data on exactly how many bombs there are and where they are, because these bombs are very small. They are the size of, really, my fist, and they are scattered throughout the land in Laos. So we believe that $90 million over three years is a great start, and the resources will be used to really conduct a comprehensive survey of the entire country to determine where these bombs are and begin the process of finally cleaning them up. But don't forget that even after we clean up all these bombs, we still have... 12 to 15,000 survivors mm. living in Laos today who suffered as a result of unexploded bomb accidents, and they need help too. Still a lot of work to do. Brett Dakin, thank you so much for joining us. Emeritus Chair of the Charity Legacies of War.